I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of carnivore, keto, and counting calories. I reached my goal in November of 2022, and over the past year and a half, I've noticed the scale went up about 8 pounds. Let's experiment with carnivore and counting calories and see what improvements I can make. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. To get my burger started, I am going to wrap these. I'm going to double wrap my things in foil. Um, I do that because they're super big. And let's just see what size these are. Let me find my little tape measure in here. The only way I can wash these in my dishwasher, I know I could do it by hand, but I don't do it by hand as good of a job as a dishwasher. But the only way I can do it with my dishwasher is to take out the the uh, the, the little container for my silverware. So these are 13 by 18. These are a full sheet cake pan. I don't know when I bought them or why I bought them, but I sure am glad I did buy them because I've used those things. For a long, long time. And um, they are handy, dandy, dandy. So anyway, I can't talk and do this at the same time because it makes a noise. So and, and there's some noises that when I record, it distorts your voice. So anyway, I'm going to double do this. But you see how nice and mostly clean these are? That's because I wrap them. It sweats underneath. And then after, I take, after it cools down, I wipe it off with a bleach wipe. All right. So that's how I do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. These are the burgers I bought. I use, These are the ones that I've always used. I think I, for a while, though, I've, I've used, like, the leaner ones or the, the not-so-lean ones. Um, the red bag, that's 80%. But if you go back in my old videos, I've been doing these for a long time. But it, what's funny is I forget how long to do it every time. It don't matter if I just made them the week before. I always will forget how long to do them. But I have my oven preheated right now to 400 degrees. I just heard it beep. So now I go through and I, I got my gloves on and I got to pull these little wrappers off. Now, a lot of the times, not every single time, but you'll get two without a paper. Sometimes you can hit them and they'll fall apart. Sometimes you have to take like a steak knife or something. But it's very, very common. See, here's another one and they're, they're stuck together. Um, sometimes they come apart real easy. It just depends on how quickly they freeze during the freeze drying process or freezing or whatever it is they do to them. Um, I know somebody's going to say, ah, oh, that's not real, blah, blah, blah. Well, this says, it says gluten-free, by the way. It's 100% pure beef. So these do not have any fillers, nothing else. Now, does that mean it's all, uh, you know, grass-fed, grass-finished, um, I don't know, whatever other hoops the some carnivores want you to just jump through? Absolutely not. But you know what? The two years I was carnivore, I, I lost 60 pounds. And I broke my addiction to uh, junk food. So uh, they were good enough for me for two years. So uh, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> so now from here, and also I, even when I was carnivore the first go around, I was adding extra fat to stuff. Because I just, you know, I, you, you, you'll find, you'll find, as you do your own research, you run across channels that are extreme one way and extreme the other way. Just like politics. And I ain't talking politics. I'm just saying, just like politics, you got extreme left and extreme right. It's just, that's just how it is. Just like church, you got extreme Jesus and you got extreme Holy Spirit. It's just everything in life. You're going to have your extremes. So I... When I first started, got in, started with the people that were extreme, add fat to everything. And so I did, and I lost some weight, obviously. But then uh, then I, I saw other people. I fell into the group with, like, Kelly Hogan and, um, oh, I can't think of that guy's name. Um, he, was a, he was a singer, a music artist. Uh, Brett. Brett? 
Brett something. Anyway, he's still doing carnivore. But he cleared up his mental health with his carnivore. But anyway, and then they're just more like, dude, just eat the meat. You ain't got to worry about adding stuff. Now, I'm not saying that's how they are now. But please remember, whenever I first started my journey, this is just water, okay? I'm just spraying water. Uh, when I first started my journey, it was 2019. Well, I first first started in 2017, but then I fell off the wagon. But um, in 2019, whenever I found, whenever I found that group, they were just more like, "Dude, just eat the meat, and you'll be all right. You ain't got to add this, that, and the other." And so, uh, and for a while, I was doing like Kelly Hogan was doing at that time. I was just going to uh, McDonald's and buying their burgers. Because it was like, they were cheap, but then the prices went up. I'm like, nope. So that's whenever I started making my own. Uh, you don't have to use burgers. You can do ground beef. I've done that. When I did ground beef, because so many people will say, don't you get tired of it? Well, I personally don't get tired of things. Obviously, if you watch me very long, I eat the same thing all the time. But, uh, but some people do get tired of things. And so for those people, you change up your seasonings. By the way, that was farm dust, and this is this um, garlic and onion spice blend that I got. I'm also going to use some Kinder's caramelized onion butter and Kinder's buttery steakhouse. So I'm going to do it to this side, and then I'll do it to the other side after I flip them. But I added the water just to kind of help the spices stick a little bit better. Otherwise, it's just it's all frozen, and, and it's just like putting it on a piece of board. It's not going to stay. Um uh, but anyway, so you got to do what's best for you. But um, if you're somebody who you need variety, so okay, well then add add some Greek seasoning and put a little sprinkle some feta cheese on it, and there you got a Mediterranean flavor. Or um, add some Mexican flavored cheese and some some cumin and chili and curry, and so you can you that is how I learned about seasonings. Some people are like. Oh my gosh, you use so many seasonings and so many different things. Exactly. Because that's going to make every meal taste different. And even though I literally use the same ingredients on these burgers, each burger is going to taste different because some have more, some have less. So the whole point is to make it to where you feel like it's something you can do. So um, when I did this the first time, I don't think I seasoned them whenever I came through originally. Oh, I know I didn't because I was using the broth and um, and the fat, and I was giving it to the dogs. So I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but when I was, that's what I would use the rendered fat and stuff for. But we're going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. So three, zero. By the way, all I need is this dog and that other dog. And those dogs over there and the dogs in the other room and yeah that's me I just want all the dogs all right anyway so I'm gonna put these in the oven for 30 minutes and we'll be back okay it's been 30 minutes so now we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna flip them and hopefully I'll remember that that one needs to go on the bottom and this one will go on the top Hang on, I kind of got a mess. Just a second. All right, that's better. So now what I do, I go on and flip them, and then they're going to go back into the oven for 10 more minutes. And I hopefully will remember which one was the top and which was the bottom. I usually don't. <laughs> Sometimes I can tell by looking at the bottom because they'll be a little more cooked than the others. But now I'm going to go through and I'm going to flip them. And then I'm going to re-season them. I think personally, I think carnivore has its benefits and its place. Um, again, some people, they do really well in staying carnivore forever. Somebody needs, some people need to stay carnivore forever. <clears throat> For example, I know um, uh, Dr. Peterson and his daughter Michaela. You know, they have some personal health issues, um, and they have both tried weaning off of carnivore, but uh, their body, they're just not able to. You know, Kelly Hogan, she stays carnivore, and so um, I think some people 
Carnivore is the way they have to stay for life. I think some people doing things like a carnivore reset, like I'm doing, I think some for some people that that's enough just to do it from time to time to kind of reset the body, the microbiome or whatever all you want to call that stuff in there. I think sometimes it just, it's okay. I personally don't think that, that vegetables are evil. I personally think that for me, now for everybody, but I think some of us damage our body to where, in my humble opinion, I think some of us damage our body so much that everything becomes evil to our body. And so we have to be super strict. Um, like, like I said, I don't personally feel like vegetables is what caused me my problem. I didn't, I don't have like um, immune issues. I had blood pressure issues and I had pre-diabetes, but you know, I was 340 pounds. So of course I had those things. I feel like mine was all stemmed from the fact that I ate tons of junk food my whole life. And so, um, so I did a lot of damage to my body, but I think it was, um, damage that was, that was able to be repaired through weight loss. Um, so I personally, for me, I don't feel like I now need to do carnivore for the rest of my life. Again, that's me, and some people might have to. So, uh, you know, we're all different, and that's something we have to remember when you're watching me, when you're watching Kelly Hogan, when you're watching Laura Spath, all the people. Because <clears throat> I know for a fact, I've heard Dr. Peterson say it, how much he, he is so bored with carnivore, and he really would like to do something, and he's tried over and over, but his mental health issues come back every time he's tried to stop being carnivore so <clears throat> it's really just a personal journey for every person and some people <clears throat> are are physically able to you know return to eating vegetables and some people are not and so you know when you're watching somebody you know like I know I'm going to go back to vegetables <clears throat> after this stint but so when you watch somebody like me or whoever else then and <clears throat> We're able to eat vegetables, but but you're not able to for health reasons. You know, don't don't get discouraged because you know we are all on our own journey, and we all kind of have our own personal health issues. <clears throat> My personal health issues are different than your personal health issues, and and genetics plays a big part of it. You know, my doctor, my cardiologist, he said that it was genetics and not diet that that gave my that caused me to need two stents um, back in March. So if you're new here, I had to have two cardiac stents in March. And um, one was 99%, one was 95%. So I was probably a couple weeks away from a massive heart attack. And depending on where I was, you know, that day, I could have died or who knows what. So, anyway, so yeah, so we all have our different paths. We all have our different genetics. All right, so looking at this, I think this was the one that was on the, this one needs to go on bottom this time. So now we're going to put it back in for 10 minutes. And I use the same seasonings as I used a while ago. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to let them sit and cool down and reabsorb the rendered fat and juices. Just gonna let them sit in their juices for about 20 minutes. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and turn off the oven because we're actually gonna do two sets of these burgers, but I want them to reabsorb the moisture. So in about 20 minutes, we'll come and we'll put them on something else and then, um, and then we'll do the next round. Because I plan on doing two sets because I'm figuring five burgers a day so five and if I'm um, I don't know how many I'm how many day but at least five times seven is was that 45 30 35 five times seven is 35 so two containers is not enough two containers is only two packages is only 24 so and then if I'm gonna do another one to make 36 
I might as well just do two, just for number's sake and ease's sake. And if I'm gonna heat up the oven and do this, I'm gonna do so. I'll do I'll do four packages of the burgers, and that will last me um, well over a full week. And then next week I can do some more, or I may decide to do all. I bought six today at Walmart. I may decide to do all six. You never know with me. I never know with me. We'll just see how many I end up with, but I'll see you in 20 minutes for sure. Okay, so the burgers are done. The timer just beeped. <clears throat> they sat in here for a total of 20 minutes. Just come into room temperature, and you can see that I'll show you whenever I'm done. There's like almost no, no liquid left in here. I mean, there's some, some sludge, but um, I'll show you. Give me just a second, and I'll show you how much is left. But now what I want to do is find a place for the burgers to finish cooling because I want to keep going forward. And um, see, it's just kind of some random sludge right here. So in the end, I'll, I'll cook the next set of burgers. And in the end, I will go ahead and um, put all this in something and then like a Ziploc bag or whatever. But um, Or if you wanted to save this, this would be a great soup starter. Like a great um, roast you could use it in a roast beef if you buy a pot roast or something but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and empty this one out next and then I am going to uh, do another at least one maybe two rounds of burgers I'll see what my mood is and what time it is as time goes on but I need to go ahead and get those out and get them going just as a side note I pulled the you know the foil out of that out of the dish that's over there and um, so I can just kind of keep reusing this for the next set. And, um, but I'm going to let these sit out and they'll just get room temperature. And I haven't dirtied anything up for this pit stage. You know, I can just set them right back here and they can cool off and do their own thing. And later on when I am ready to do something with them, I can just grab them and they're not dirtying up one more thing. So I just want to show you that. That's, that's, that's my plan today. Now my plan tomorrow and next time might be a little different, but uh, that's that's what I'm doing today. So all right, I'll see you all after I get the next at least one or two round, one round done, maybe two. Okay, so for this stage, we are going to um, do some burgers. So I I looked and I have ten um, ten burgers like in packs of two, uh, ten. 10 packs of two burgers in my freezer. So in order to kind of equalize things, uh, because at some times I'm gonna be doing three burgers and sometimes I'm gonna be doing two burgers. So you know what, I wonder, wait a minute, what if I do some with three burgers in them? Well, that would just be a whole lot easier. So um, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I've got some twos and then I can make sets of three. So I'll just try to make them. I don't know how many I'll make of that now that I've done. I done did the math and had it all figured out, but I'm just gonna put all these in groups of three. Hang on, I got got a lick off my baggie. One, two, three. So I'm gonna do these burgers in groups of three, and then I'll count. Because then that way, if I have 10 and 10, because my plan is two burgers at lunch or at supper and three burgers at lunch. So wait, this is one, so I need two more added to it. So um, anyway, and the reason why is because I'm always hungry at lunchtime. So I want to make sure I have a good day um, at lunch. So hang on, we'll do one more. So then these will be, wait, one, two, three, oh wait, there's eight. So this will be nine. So I'll have 10 groups of two and I'll have 10 groups of three. And uh, so then what I figured out is when, when I change over and I go to, it's a 1500 calories, I'll go to two burgers a day, but that's not gonna be. I mean, two burgers at breakfast, lunch and two burgers at supper. But that ain't going to be for a long time. So, listen, you got to lick the little stuff off there. You can't just leave it on there. It's just, 
It's just in the rule book. <clears throat> I'm the only one eating these burgers. Don't be worrying about what I'm licking. And uh, anyway, so uh, so yeah, so I will have three burgers in these. Boy, I'm glad I thought of that. Look at me being all smart. So now I've got the other another batch is in the process of cook finishing up cooking. I think it's on the last round, and then. I'll do another batch, and in the end, now, like I said, I've got 10, 10 sets of two in my refrigerator, or in my freezer right now, so, uh, oh, you know what, I didn't put any in that poor little fella back there, I don't know how many of these I have, I better recheck, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, so I have eight sets of three, so, um, I'm going to mark this because I have seasoned burgers times one, but I need to change it. It's times three. So the bags, I'll write on what's in it. So then what I'll do is whenever I pull my burgers out of the freezer, I'll keep a rotation just like I do currently with everything I do. I'll pull out a, a set of three burgers and a set of two burgers. And then from there, um, I'll keep a rotation of them defrosting in my refrigerator so that's what i do currently with my stuff so i need to do this one seasoned burgers oh i hate whenever i do it backwards sometimes whenever you see your bag you think you're writing on here seasoned burgers times three yeah look this is what i did i got it on that side instead of that side because when you look at it like this, I know great value should be right side up. So that's the side I should write on. Hang on. All right, so I'll just know that um, I have eight of them so far. And I need at least two more. Then, when I know that, then I can kind of figure things out. So I've got ten that are times two and eight that are times three. So then after I get two more sets of three, then I'll divide them out and figure out from there. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep plugging away because, so in theory, I have enough for 10 days, y'all. But, no, I have enough for eight days. But I'm gonna just keep going because I don't have to do this right away. So, all right, I'm gonna get going. I wanna show you something. This has only happened one other time. I had 13 burgers in my thing. So 3, 6, 9, 12, right? Then 3, 6, 9, 12. Well, this happened one other time. I got a 13th burger. So now I'm, I don't know. I'll, I, I don't know how to cook it. It's just like one burger and it doesn't fit on anything. I, anyway, I'll probably, I guess I could defrost it or I know I could use air fryer, but I don't want to dirty that up. I'll just, I don't know. I really don't know. But isn't that funny? So, like I said, just one other time, I got 13 burgers before. I'll just pop it in like a Ziploc baggie and 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 let it defrost and cook it. I don't know, sometime. But I just had to share that with you. Isn't that funny? Okay, bye. I'm just going to say, this is my third round of burgers. Don't you know that when this third round, now I've got to put it back in for 10 minutes, but don't you know when this third round is done cooking and it absorbs all that, uh, well, not all of it, but that seasoned rendered fat and juices, oh my gosh, don't you know this batch is going to be tasting the best out of all of them. All right, well, they got to go back in for 10 minutes. And for the record, my sous chef has checked out. He's done sous chefing. He said, you're on your own, guys. It's, I can't I can't guarantee the quality of, of what this woman is doing because I need a nap. <laughs> so now I've got him out on this, I don't know, a foil cooling down. I went ahead and poured the juice into this. I thought, you know, let's do it. I called it seasoned 85% burger juice and fat. So now I can freeze this. I just got it in here, you know, for a mold. And um, I'll be able to freeze it. I can either keep it. I could use it for a pot roast. I could use it for a pork roast. Whatever I want to. And it's going to be seasoned and amazing. 
So now I gotta let those cool, and I'm actually over here eating my supper. And um, so, yeah, no, that's not carnivore, but it's because I haven't started carnivore yet. But I'm getting ready to. All right, I'll see you when it's all done. So I was just thinking, I don't think I told you all why I do this step right here, the letting it, other than cooling down, um, because it doesn't really cool down when it's in the liquid, but the reason why I do this step is it kind of allows them to, the moisture and, and fat that it just absorbed, it kind of allows them to dry off a little bit. So they're not so soft and wet from, um, you know, from sitting in the juice. I, um, I like to let them sit out and kind of dry off. I did that before whenever I used to make them. And, um, and so it just lets them, cause you can see there's already liquid down in there anyway, but by just doing it, <clears throat> um, by just letting them sit that extra, uh, so I let them sit about 20 minutes before I do the, um, hang on, I'm getting yucky here. Um, by, by, <clears throat> um, I let them, so I, okay. So I pull them out of the oven and let them sit for 20 minutes to reabsorb any rendered fat and liquid. Then <clears throat> I set them on this and I used to just lay them out on a plate. But then I'm like, you know what? Just do this and I ain't got to wash nothing. So, um, so anyway, so then I do this for 20 minutes. And then, like I said, it, it allows it to reabsorb some of that, that liquid. And not reabsorb. It allows it to kind of dry some of the liquid so there's not as much liquid on the outside. And I got to tell you something. You see how that, green, that looks green? One of my coworkers walked in when I was eating something the other day. And she was like, um, why is your burger, or why is your food green? I was just laughing. I'm like, this is just how the seasoning comes out. But anyway, so yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that, um, I let it sit out on this to kind of, uh, dry out the outer edge a little bit. So it's just not quite as, um, as soft and wet. So now I'm going to finish doing this, and then I'm going to pull them all out. I'll pull out, um, the ones that I made last week, as well as this week, just so we kind of have, can kind of look at it all together. So give me a couple minutes, and I will be back. Okay, so here's how it's looking. This I've got three packs of seasoned burgers of three, and two packs of seasoned burgers in two. So I just labeled them, and I'll have them in the freezer. I put them in Ziploc bags just so I can differentiate between them. Um, and then I can reuse these, these bags next time. So we're going to go ahead and count them and just get that over with. We're going to count the seasoned, the ones of times two. So let me get a thing over here. Times two and times three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 days worth of two burgers. So 19. Okay. And I need to keep a couple out actually for this upcoming week. Um, so I'm going to, let me pull... Let's see, so Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. So now, <clears throat> we'll put these in here. So we got that wrote down. We have 19 of these. I, again, remember this is the six packs that I made today along with the two packs that I made I guess last week, I can't remember when I did it, but um, so, so it is a total of eight of those packs of meat. So in the end, we're gonna see how many days we have worth of food, of burgers. So there we go. Now, these are the packs of three. I'm gonna go a different route with them. We're gonna just dump them all out. 
and we'll count. Let's see if I have three over there. Well, no, I don't want to do that till I count. All right. Let's see. So this is packs of three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. No. So six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen packs of three. I'm gonna write that down. I'm leaving those out for the other one. So this is 18 days worth of meals. So let's let's go about it this way. Um, Ziggy, 18 times 14. 18 times 14 is 252. 252. No. No. Ziggy, 8 times 14. 8 times 14 is 112. So $112 for the burgers. Okay. So, Ziggy, 112 divided by 18. 112 divided by 18 is approximately 6.2222. So, it's approximately $6 a day. If I've done my math right, and y'all tell me in the comments, but if I've got 18, I mean, I know I'll have an extra set of two, but if i got 18 days of food, and the total cost, now this is lunches and suppers, okay? Please understand this is not including breakfast. So that's $6 for my lunch and supper meat. So, hot dog. There we go, you guys. So, approximately 18. But anyway, so 18 days worth of food. So I won't have to meal prep my burgers for a couple weeks. So, ka chow. So, all right, I'm going to pop these in the freezer. And these I'll put in the refrigerator so that I'll be able to use them this week. And thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.